Hi. Welcome. We're going to be doing some all level yoga today. I'm just looking to see who might be joining me on Instagram right now. Those of you who are on Instagram, I'm going to ask you to flip over to Facebook if your connection doesn't stay with us. So we've had a few issues with Instagram, but Facebook is pretty, very solid. So if for some reason you lose your connection today, no worries. Just head on over to Four Corners Yoga on Facebook and join us there. So how are we doing today? Our practice is going to be about 40 minutes today. We're going to work on strong and soft and finding the flow between each. And while we're at it, we're going to unwind some tension or stress or any negative feelings that we might explore and find in our bodies as we connect. So why don't you just join me on the mat, comfortable seated pose, and we'll get right into our breathing. So welcome yourself, welcome yourself to the mat. Welcome yourself to your breath and welcome yourself to connecting to the sensations between the mind and body. Nice deep breaths in and long exhales out. Let's continue to just take those nice deep breaths in and follow them out. Good. Try it one more time with me. Nice deep breath in. And let it out. I'm going to have you take your next breath, but lift your shoulders up and press down into the tops of your knees just to kind of crunch up some of that energy that's around your neck and jaw. And then drop the shoulders as low as you can as you take that long exhale out. And let's do that one more time. Bring up those shoulders. And then exhale out. Great job. Go ahead and take another breath, swinging your arms over your head. Here we are in a big stretch. We're going to hold it just a little longer, get those fingers to stretch, and then let them softly fall down as you exhale out. And let's do that one more time. Everybody stretch up, stretch your hands, and let it all come out. Good. Easy twisting right to left. So as you stay in the seated pose, if Easy cross leg pose isn't quite fitting your body today. Please feel free to put the legs in any pose you'd like. And this is an all levels class today, as I said. So any modifications that you need to be doing today, please feel free to honor you in the practice as we continue. Hands to the heart, take a deep breath, press the back of the Thumbs right into the breastbone and exhale. One more time. Inhale, full deep breath, feeling the lower belly expand as well. And follow it out. Good. I'm going to have you stretch your arms out, palms are down. Cross that right arm over your left as far as you can. And then I want you to peel the hands over the back of the shoulders and walk back as far as you can. And then just drop the elbows down, pulling on your shoulders. You're going to remove the bottom arm and take your right hand over your left shoulder. Gently pull down there and let your head fall away from your right hand. So your head falls to the right. Drop the head down towards the crook of the elbow. Inhale here. Go ahead and push on some of the tension you feel in that left shoulder with your right hand. And then go ahead and take that left arm over the top as you sit up and release the right arm. So the left hand is pushing firmly down at the top of the right shoulder. And then let your head fall to the left. This should feel really good like you just got a nice energy space right there with some stuck tension. And you're just palpitating a bit with those hands. Drop your chin towards the crook of your elbow. Take a deep breath right here. And then lift the head back up, both hands back over the shoulders, but now raise the arms holding on to the elbows and pull them as far back behind your head as you can. 
Take a deep breath in, maybe letting the gaze come all the way up above you to the ceiling. And then reach up high and release your arms. We're going to do one more stretch, lacing the hands together, placing right behind your head, thumbs on either side of the neck. Go ahead and palpitate there, see if you feel any tension at the sides of your neck. And then come up right underneath the back of the jaw and place your head back in your hands as you look up here. This is a great stretch to counteract all that forward flexion our neck and head and upper back is in most of the day as we seem to be even expanding some of that forward flexion in our time of stay in place or shelter in place so this is a great one to do I would suggest you do it a couple of times a day just take time to take deep breaths head back supported in your hands elbows wide Good, reaching the arms up next, easy does it. I'm gonna have you meet me in child's pose next. So we'll go ahead and come on to all fours. Curl your toes under to start your child push back. And then when you're ready, when it feels like you've got a good stretch in your toes, go ahead and point the toes and settle all the way back. Head down, let's stretch our arms out a little brighter, everybody. Push down with the tips of the fingers and then try to drop your ears even lower towards the floor. Good, we're gonna walk off our mat to one side, push into the ground there and then drop your head towards that knee. Feel that expanded breath moving into the far side of the body. And then we'll walk across and do the other side. Big stretch. Drop your nose down to your knee. Push into the floor with your hands and breathe into the far side of the body here. So good stretch for lower backs. You might already be finding some tension that you're letting go of. And then we'll come back to the center. Push back. And as you get your hips to settle further back, you might notice you're able to go a little further now. Good. Let's go ahead and sit up slowly. Place your hands on your lower back. Lift up on your kidneys and look up. Nice expanded view through the eyes. As high as they'll go, everybody. Keep lifting the eyes. And then walk your hands forward into table. And let's just move right to left a few times, enjoying the easy right-left motion. Staying soft as we move into our warm-up even more dramatically here. And when you're ready, start a cow-cat motion. Starting in table. Good. Getting ready for our first full breath in cow, lifting the tailbone, pulling the shoulders back and gazing up. And then followed by cat, rounding up with the back, tucking the tailbone and the chin towards each other, cat. Inhale back to cow when you're ready. And follow that long exhale in towards the strength of your core as you exhale. Again, full breath, belly drops, head and tailbone lifts. Exhale, follow the breath to the strength of the core, reaching and contracting up. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Join me back in table, flat back. And then lift up your hand to the sky and look up. Nice open stretch. Try moving that arm around a little freely just so you can move into some of that shoulder capsule. And then drop your hand down and do the same on the other side. Nice lift, everybody. Look up with it. Move that shoulder around freely just to where it feels good to you. And then drop back down. Good. Half dog. You're going to reach your hand out in front of you. Keep your hips right above your knees. And when you're ready, a nice soft drop into the chest and heart. Some of you will be able to get your head all the way down on the mat. Keep those arms pressing firmly away from you. And try to tilt the tailbone up to the sky as you breathe here. Take another full breath. Take your time. 
And then join me back in table. Good. Taking a leg behind you and stretching back through your heel. Drop your head. Give it a nice release. And then lift that leg up in the air and look up, bright spine. Good, and then you're going to take that toe, stretch it away as you drop the foot behind the front foot, and then lift your arm to the ceiling so you've got a nice side pose going on here. Press down with the shin that's on the floor. Lift up with your hand and gaze at it. Good, and then maybe add a balance to it, lifting the leg off the floor, holding here for another breath. Try to keep the leg up as you lower the hand that's up in the air and flatten the back, nice extension. I'm going to have you bend that knee that's up high and try to lift that heel even higher. And then squeeze across the leg that's down. Keep squeezing. Try to lower that knee down to the mat, and then sit back as far as you can at an angle over that heel you just dropped. Some of you are going to come about halfway back. Some of you can probably make it all the way back, lowering your chin to your knee. Press a little more firmly into your hands here. Feel your outer ribs open up with your breath. Head lower, everybody. Good. Join me back all the way up. Lift that leg back up in the air that was twisted behind and then draw that knee down. Good. Nice, easy, soft swing of your hips right to left and then we'll do the other side. Extend the opposite leg back. Drop the toe. Push into the floor and drop your head. Use that breath to expand you and then follow it in as you exhale. Bring that leg up nice and high and look up while you're at it. Brighten the pose. And then stretch that leg behind that foot that's already down and lift your arm up in the air. You're in a side balancing pose. Press down with the shin that's on the floor. Look up at the ceiling. Engage your core. Breathe. Try a balance if you would like, lifting up that extended leg nice and bright. Inhale and exhale, feel the breath, hear you're strong. And then try to keep your leg up as you lower your hand back to extension on the leg and spine. And then slowly bend that elevated leg, hold that heel higher. And then slowly bring it across the knee that's on the floor and drop it as close to the opposite knee as you can. So inner thighs should be together here. Drop the foot and then start to come back at an angle over the heel you just dropped. So again, extend through the tailbone and arms, sit back, and if you can, keep going and sit on the heel you dropped last. Chin down to the knee if you can. No matter what position you're in, try to improve your breathing. Improve the connection of feeling the stretch in your body and enjoying that. Head a little lower. Finish one more breath here. Unwinding some tension in our hips and legs. And then come back up. Place your hands right below your shoulders and extend the leg again. And then join me in child's pose. Let's just sink back. Take a nice breath here. Drop your head. Good. All right. Let's move next into down dog. So you're back to hands, flat table position. Spread your fingers. Look at them. Make sure they're as wide as they can be. And then curl your toes under and slowly lift those hips. You're in down dog. Allow your hips now to move right to left. Just enjoy the range of motion that you can bring to those legs. And then take a moment to settle into trying to straighten and lengthen your spine. So most of us tend to try to straighten our legs over our backs. And I'm going to encourage you today to try to think more of a purpose of straightening and lengthening 
creating space in your back than in your legs. So some of us need a little bend in our knees in order to get more space in our back. So I'm gonna encourage you to try it a few times. Bend those knees, push back with your tailbone, and then shake your head real good. So sometimes a good shake of the head is a good way to let go of anything that just doesn't need to be here during your practice today. So our focus is on our health, our well-being, about being strong and soft as we move through our poses and unwind the tension and stress that we find. Our next pose is plank. Some of you might come into knee plank, that would be fine. Breath in and out. Go ahead and move around a little. Notice how you might inspire some different connections in that core as you move your hips a bit or even roll forward and back. And then we'll all lower our knees, pull the shoulders back, and slowly bend the elbows into cobra. Toes are on the mat, drop your nose as you exhale. Keep the toes pushing back into the earth and slowly lift with your mid-back strength back into cobra. Gaze is forward here. Exhale, come back down. Join me in one more cobra when you're ready to take a deep breath. Try to make your hands a little lighter. And all the way down. Good. Push the hands and knees or table all the way up. And back to downward facing dog. Good. I'm going to have you come onto your knees. Step your right foot through your hands. And just come into a few glides forward and back. When you're ready, I'm going to have you stay in the forward-facing lunge. The foot that's forward, that hand's going to come up to the ceiling, and you're just going to pause here. I'm going to encourage you to maybe rock your hips a little right to left. Open up your stretch. Try to be a little soft in the pose, so you're exploring where you're feeling good sensations in the body as you move. And then bring your hands to the inside of that foot that's forward and move that foot to the edge of your mat. And then move right to left here. Some of you might want to drop an elbow on the floor, the opposite elbow as the foot that's forward. And then the foot that's forward, pick up that elbow and gently press into your inner thigh. And then drop your head towards the hand that's down. And then maybe take up that arm to the ceiling, the arm that is the same as the foot that is forward. Good. Stay here for another breath. And then you'll take your time to lower that hand down. Good. Let's come back. Bringing your front foot back and stepping the back leg forward. And we'll do the same thing here. Unwinding some of the tension you're finding as you even bring a little bit of organic movement as you glide forward and back. And then you'll stay forward, take a moment here, pushing into the opposite hand and lifting the same hand as the foot that's forward, looking up here. Once you find the pose, soften a bit and explore any other areas that are just able to find some way to release tension just by your movement. Inhale every breath, exhale, follow it back to you and what you're feeling. One more breath, take your time. And then we'll bring that hand inside the front foot and move your foot to the edge of the mat. Move a little soft and edgy here. We're not trying to overdo anything. Foot that's forward, the opposite elbow might be able to come down. Again, you can always keep that arm straight. And then push the same elbow as the leg into that inner thigh. Lift your chest away from the earth and lift that arm as an option. Again, that arm that's on the floor can be straight if that feels better to you. Take another breath, maybe move that high arm more around and find some nice stretching in your body. 
And then as you exhale, follow that hand down. Great job, everybody. Back to your hands. When you're ready, pick up the back knee and let's step back to down dog and take another breath before we move on. We're ready to take and walk ourselves to the top of the mat. So I'm going to ask you to bend your knees, look forward, and take lots of little steps, trying to strike your heel on the way. And when you arrive, take a moment just to pause with your fingers on the floor. So for some of you, that might mean you need to bend your knees to touch the floor. I would never want you to just have your arms hanging like mine are now. It can create some real stress in the lower back and nobody needs that right now. So bend the knees, walk right to left, just one more time. Keep your ankles and knees loose. And then we'll come into a half lift extension. For most of us, fingers on the shin bones. Try and create what feels like a flat back. Lifting the crown of the head away from the tailbone and then trying to tilt that tailbone slightly up. Good, come back to a fold. Maybe grab your elbows behind your knees and tuck. And then come into a half lift again. And back to a fold. Good, let's just roll up from here the first time. Press down with your feet, keep the knees bent and roll up. Some of you might need your hands on your lap just for a little extra help. Mountain pose, place your feet down a few times, move your shoulders, take a deep breath with me, hands coming out and behind you, look up, exhale, drop the hands down. Let's try that again, sweep up and out, exhale down, and one more, sweep up and out, and exhale down. Good, let's bring our arms over our heads, and then try to reach the ceiling as you gaze up. So look up, find a drishti or focal point there. Try your best to touch it with the tips of the fingers. Good, drop your front ribs down a bit, engage the core, grab your right wrist and bring it over to the left side bend. Find a full breath here. And then exhale, draw yourself back up. Again, back to trying to touch the ceiling. We'll be grabbing the left wrist as we take a deep breath in, holding a tight core as we bend now to the right. Hold the side bend. Good, exhale back up, and then go ahead and let those arms fall slowly. Bring your toes closer together. This is a little more challenging, so if you feel like you want your feet a little further apart, we're moving into chair, feel free as well. So as the big toes are touching, as we bend the knees into a squat, so will your knees touch. If your toes are not touching, then the knees won't touch. It's kind of simple, right? Shoulders relax and come down. Find your chair pose. Keep taking a more challenging sit back. Look down, make sure you can see your toes. And on your next breath, hold the pose, but lift your head and arms over your head. Great job. I'm going to ask you to come up just a bit, two to three inches as you inhale, and exhale into a deeper squat. And do that two more times. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Drop those arms. Come up from behind. Full breath over your head. And let's follow the hands into our hearts. Dropping them down into mountain pose, preparing for our next full breath. Arms over your head, and we're going to slide down. Easy does it. Soft spine into a fold, and get soft again. Drop your head. Good. Step back into down dog when you're ready. Press back through those hips. Drop your head and give it a good shake. Following me into plank, knee plank or regular plank into cobra or up dog. Hips feel like they're released, but your core is still hold, helping you rise up through your heart and chest. Good, dropping the nose down, even halfway before pushing back into child's pose. Take a breath here, and then join me back in downward facing dog. Let's try one more flow. Inhale forward to plank, Lowering into up dog or cobra, rising up with the head at the peak of the crown, feeling it. 
and then lowering the chin before pushing back into child's pose. Join me in down dog when you're ready. We have two more breaths before we travel back to the top of the mat. Bend the knees, look forward. Some of you might be ready to jump. Others of you may be some bigger steps. Take your time. When you arrive, soften and lower down. Prepare for chair, maybe big toes together. Stretch out the toes, drop your head lower to your knees. Followed by an inhale, half lift extension. And back to a fold. Ah. Good, half lift extension, but drop the hips. Squeeze the knees and chair. Find that chair. Take your time with it. And we're going to exhale the arms behind us. Level one will stay here. Level two, deepen the squat, flatten the spine parallel to the earth. Inhale, chair. Exhale, either just the arms drop or the body. And one more. Inhale, chair. Exhale. Everybody's going to take their next breath and rise up all the way, stretching for the ceiling and then letting your arms fall to your sides. Preparing for another deep breath, swing those hands over your head. Exhale, down through a fold. Half lift. Exhale, fold even lower with your head. Step back to down dog. Forward to your plank. Maybe adding chaturangas, right? Up dog or cobra. Lower down slowly. Keep those elbows narrow and push back into child's pose. Good. Two more breaths before we travel back to the top of the mat. Join me in down dog when you're ready. Easy, soft swings of the hips. Go ahead and bend your knees. Some of you are ready to do your jumping or walking. Just join me at the top of the mat when you're ready and fold. Head down, give it a good shake. And then find yourself in that half lift all the way back down. Again, big toes together. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, squat. Inhale into chair. Exhale and hold. Just one inhale more in chair. Exhale, dropping the arms or the body. Come up from behind all the way up and lift. And then let's come into our heart. Finishing in mountain pose when you're ready to drop your hands. Good job. All right, so we're going to move into eagle. More strong, purposeful breaths into this pose. I'm going to have you start by just coming into star pose. So feet about hip width or a little wider, toes slightly out, arms out, and then raise the hands about the same width as your feet and take a deep breath here, big bright you, and then come back out to those extended parallel arms to the floor. Turn the palms up, pull back with your thumbs and look up. And we're going to do a series of arm crosses, right over left, drop and bow the chin. Hmm. Palms up as you reach back and look up, there's a deep breath. Exhale, left over right, bow your chin. One more time, inhale, open up. And exhale, right over left, and we're going to stay here, picking up our left hand and picking up our head, stand tall. Turn your right palm up. Some of you may pause right here. Others of you will take full eagle pose. Move those hands right to left a few times just enjoying that stretch around your neck and jaw. Maybe even turn at your waist a little. And then come back to center. Drop the elbows down. Look past your hands forward. And you're going to balance on your left foot and cross the right, right on over the top. Squeeze your thighs and soften them. Squeeze them even stronger, internal rotation, drop the tailbone, and soften. And one more time, big squeeze, hold here, and come into chair pose, balancing just on your left foot. 
So we're trying to keep that chair strong pose, nice long back. Some of you will pick up the right foot and round right on behind, tucking your foot behind your left leg. Breath in and out here one more time. Eagle pose. This is a strong pose, but it helps to unwind and define some of the areas of the body. Stay in the pose. Try to bring your wrapped knee up in the air, right knee up. Breath in and out. Externally rotate that right leg. And then see if you can bring it behind you. Extension and hold. So you might need to drop that toe and take a breath. That would be okay. And then lift that leg back up. Beautiful. Take one more breath, holding extension. And see if you can exhale, maybe to warrior three. So not for everybody, but maybe you can come down a little ways like I have. Or parallel to the floor with your back and head. So take your time, just find the pose that works for you. Be strong in your breath. Try one more. And then rise back strong and straight in the back. Foot comes down. And a release, hug the arms over your head. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands to your heart. Great job. Take a breath, just pressing the thumbs into the breastbone. Notice your shoulders, maybe move a bit just to see how that feels. And let's try the other side. So palms up, coming behind you, looking up, deep breath. Cross the left over the right, bow your head, round those shoulders. Come back with a deep breath, look up. Right arm over left, bow. And one more time, full breath in. And exhale, left over right. Hold the pose, bring your head back up and lift your right hand in front of your face and turn the left hand up. Choose to stay here or complete eagle dropping the hand up and around so your hands are connected, you're looking past your hands like they're not there, and maybe taking a minute to soften and move your neck and jaw. Move your hands. So we don't always need to be in a point of tension in the body or creating more tension. There's times where softening can allow you to come back stronger like right now. Settle in. Raise your head, drop your elbows, and then pick up your left foot and just cross it over the top of your right strong leg. So right leg is your standing leg now. Squeeze the inner thighs, release. Do that another two times. Use your breath. Internal rotation, squeeze on the last one, and chair pose. Left leg wrapping around, maybe left foot behind the right calf. Holding extension on your spine, crown of the head to the ceiling. Dreshti point is right in front of you. Breathe. Squeeze those inner thighs. Good. Try two more breaths. You're doing awesome. Find your strength. Explore that strength in your body. What does it feel like? Try to join me in a lifted left leg up in the air, standing tall, standing right leg is strong now. Straighten the back, externally rotate that left knee out, and then behind you to an extended leg, gaze is still forward, back is still straight, hold here and breathe. Try to get that leg a little higher, brace the core, and maybe drop into this eagle, Warrior three. So don't let your gaze change. Bring it forward. Just go into the pose as far as you can. Find the breath. Find your strength. So everything doesn't need to be strong in the pose. Some things can be soft. Your gaze, your face. Good. And then you'll come back up. Nice and strong in your pose. And then exhale and drop the arms. Ha. Inhale, the hands over your head. Big stretch. You did great. Exhale, hands to your heart. And try it one more time with me. Inhale, up as high as you can. Maybe a little bit of a back bend. And let's finish in a soft spine forward fold. Good. Heel toe your feet apart. 
And let's just soften both the knees and the ankles as we swing our body right to left across those open legs. I'm going to have you stay to the right, tip your hands where you're comfortable and look at them. And then push down with your left hand and see, even with bent knees, if you can open up the right arm to the ceiling, opening up your chest, unwinding any tension in those shoulders, back and hips. If you can, straighten the legs and take a breath out, lower your hand. Easy swing to the left and then plant the hands in little tents there. Maybe your knees are bent here, that's fine. Drop a little more pressure into your right finger pads and lift your left up for a beautiful stretch. Unwind your shoulders, your neck. Look up high, maybe straighten those legs and breathe here. It should feel really good. Lowering that hand on your exhale, bringing it on down. Making sure your heels are turned in as we lower into a low squat. Modify your elbows on your thighs and just look forward. Otherwise, all the way down. Good. Keeping your left hand on the floor and lifting your left heel. Otherwise, you're in the modification. Left elbow on your left thigh. Everybody will bring up your right arm and take another breath in as you unwind and open here. I'm in the modified version. Full version is over here. And your hand will come down as you exhale back into neutral. Just move organically. Modifiers, you're up here. Push down with your right elbow on your thigh or your right hand on the floor, and the left will open and unwind some tension here. I'm in the modified version, and now I'm demonstrating the more advanced version. Right heel up, just taking some time to really fully expand away from the earth with the left body. Deep breath, and bring it on down, good. Hold your squat, modified or not. Some of you are gonna press your palms together and try to bring the wrists up, still pointing the finger pads down. Bring the finger pads to point forward and then up and push into those hands and try to raise the crown as high as you can so the back feels straight to you. And then hands on the floor. Let's take our hands behind us and sit down on our mats. Great job today, everybody. I'm gonna have you place your feet flat on the ground and just unwind those hips a little bit now. Finger pads are still behind you. You're doing some seated windshield wipers. Some of you will Rock and pick up the opposite arm and reach to the back of that room that you're practicing in. Just whatever version felt good to you, try to inspire some core strength to keep your spine lifted. And then we'll meet back in the center in staff pose. Extend the legs, bend the knees a little bit and drift over the top. Some of you will be able to grab part of the leg or foot and extend the spine even deeper into this fold. Exhale. Good. On your next exhale, feel free to just roll up really slowly. Take your time. Arms over your head. Deep breath. Let's bend the right knee and take a twist to the right, opening the arms, stretching them out. And then see if you can take that left arm over the top of the right knee and prop the right hand up behind you as you look over your shoulder. If this is too much for your left arm to get all the way over, try just wrapping that elbow around the knee and doing the same. Breath in and out, sitting as tall as we can. Turn that chin even further back. Good. Take a breath and come back to neutral. Maybe drain, drawing those arms over your head and switching. Left elbow is bent. Good. And then turning to the left and opening the arms, stretching out here, taking a deep breath, trying to maintain a tall back. Right arm over the left when you're ready. 
prop your left hand up behind you and look over your shoulder. Opposite arm, maybe grabbing the knee instead of stretching over the top. Inhale and exhale, try to maintain sit bone connections versus tailbone, crown of the head to the ceiling, and chin all the way back. And we'll come back to neutral on your next breath in, maybe drawing your arms over your head, straight, and release forward again, nice forward fold over slightly bent knees. Let's just let our forehead rock right to left here, upper body following. And then let's sit up. Good. Let's come on to our backs next. Joining me in a few minutes of getting softer and softer. Slowly draw the knees towards the chest and open them up, grabbing those shins. Drawing the right knee as close to the right shoulder and then the left. So you're sort of rotating those hips in an open stretch. Maybe adding happy baby, grabbing either inner or outer foot. Again, a little more advanced for some people. Just feel free to move again in the best possible feeling poses for yourself. We'll go ahead and bring the knees and feet back together. Place your hands on your knees and pull the knees away so you're gripping those knee pads, pulling away so you feel a nice stretch on your shoulders. And then allow the feet to come down. Soles of the feet are slowly going to draw together, knees apart. Let's just gently, with the heel of our hand, push the very top of your thigh bone away from you. So right where you feel the crease and the thigh come together, just push away. And then on your next breath, swing both arms over your head and behind you. Touch the ground with your fingernails. Full breath, pick up the middle of your back, not your tailbone. And then try to draw every vertebrae down. We'll do that one more time. Full breath, lifting just the very back of the heart up. And then drop down, bringing your hands slowly to your sides when you're ready. This is cobbler pose and a fine pose to finish your practice if you'd like today. I'm going to bring my knees together and walk my feet to the edges of the mat and then drop the knees in, just briefly lifting my tailbone to let it fall. This is a great pose to help relieve all tension and muscular activity in lower back, so some of you might prefer that. Or also feel free to stretch your legs out to the front of the mat for your final pose. Arrive, soften. Arrive with a slower breath, soften with a longer exhale, close your eyes. So I'm going to ask you just to be in this soft pose of Shavasana for a few moments. Let's do a scan starting from the crown of the head and just compassionately arriving wandering through the body, dropping down through every part of you, and just softening as you come upon each joint, each muscle, each organ, just passing briefly through with a compassionate heart. around the soles of the feet and toes. When you've completed your scan, just arrive at your breath. Not to change it, but just to compassionately follow it in and out. Soft and effortless breath. Feeling it gently, peacefully come in and go out. One more breath. If you'd like to stay in your Shavasana, feel free. Otherwise, gently move back to a seated pose, joining me with your hands at your heart. Moving our practice today through soft and strong, strong and soft. Try to apply that to your day. 
Try to take moments where you allow yourself to soften and let go, and then come back with some strength, courage, energy to do some of the important things that you need to do today. I wish you well. I'm so grateful for you participating with me today. Take a big, deep, full, deep, grateful breath in. Land at your heart following it in. Deep, grateful breath in. Follow it back to your heart as you let it go. Namaste.